Now, we got some late breaking information here. Again, unconfirmed, but this is what we're hearing from some school bus drivers. They tell us when they came to work today, there was not only no supervisors here at the hillside lot, they had no mechanics. They felt it was not safe. And what we're hearing also is this could be a reaction to a situation of reports of overpayments made to DPS workers who may now get smaller paychecks. We saw some school buses roll through Durham today, but we also saw parents and grandparents who drove students to school after they got word from DPS that there was what authorities call a significant bus driver shortage today. Driver Indira Hayes came to work and told us. When I came into the bus lot at Hillside, there were not any supervisors present, nor were there any bus drivers driving. So I was informed that everyone is on strike due to the um, accidental overpayment from the state. And um, a lot of people are upset about it because from, I was told that they are going to take the money out of their checks. Um, this is what I was told. I don't know if it's 100 percent. School superintendent's meeting now working on solutions to the shortage. A man who drove his grandchild to Eastway Elementary said while he sympathizes with the drivers. Hey, if you don't go to work, you can't eat. Mm -hmm. Can't feed your family. So did you have to change your routine to get your grandson over here? Um, yes, I, I, had, I had to call it late. I apologize to the parents. I really apologize, and we're going to do our best. Like I said, I can help out, but it's only one of me. And um, just parents, you just try to arrange as, as best as you can, let your job know. Now, it's important to note that despite what you heard from Indira Hayes, the driver who spoke with us on camera, some other bus drivers who spoke with me just before we came on the air, not on camera, told us this is not a strike. It is some sort of action, but it's not called a strike by these drivers. That said, what's going to happen this afternoon when people want to get their kids back from school? Will they have to also bring the cars in and wait for these bus drivers to resolve whatever's going on, the drivers and mechanics and supervisors? We're staying on top of the story. We'll let you know the latest. Watch for updates on the air and online on Eyewitness News.